And wouldn't you know it, Meredith and I went on another day trip. And if you can read, you will know that we went to the historic railway park in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And I've driven past this place, gosh, who knows how many times. And it's such a beautiful building, I decided I wanted to go in. So this is what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> so fun story about the beautiful building. It was actually dilapidated not that long ago. And it was purchased for $100,000. And they turned it into a museum. And how cool is this little model town? It's based on Bowling Green. The tour costs $12 per adult to enter. And it starts off in the segregated part of the train station. And it's really sad. It shows you how bad things were back then. And honestly, I've never really, I've never really looked at it from this perspective. It was really eye-opening. And then you have ornate stuff like this on the white side. Kind of eye-opening, kind of sad. And each little piece of stone you see there is hand-laid Italian marble. And this is probably my favorite car. This is the mail car. It will blow your mind what they were able to accomplish with those old mail cars. So pay the $12, go there, let them tell you the story. And the cushiness of the seats and the nice views really inspired me to uh, want to ride a train somewhere. And... If you are interested, you can hop on an Amtrak in Fulton, Kentucky, and it will take you to New Orleans in about 12 hours, and it will cost you $90 to get there. So, the more you know. And honestly, the Historic Rail Park, pretty cool little trip. I'd say I enjoyed it. I've never really been on uh, an old train like this, and it was cool just to check it out. And with that, on to our next stop. Well, I'm just, I'm getting everything. And then whenever I get my hands on it, I'll, uh, well, fancy it up a little bit. And we've actually been here before. And the last time it seemed like it was bigger or more impressive than it was this go around. But nevertheless, it's only like a block away, so why not check it out? And the only real attraction, I guess, is the bridge. You got some cool views and all that. And I know that there's a walking trail. I'm not sure how far it goes, but we're just coming here for the bridge. <laughs> a whole lot of possibly stolen stuff underneath that bridge. But anyways, thanks for watching. And I will let Nick and Mare give you a recap. All right, Mare, what was your favorite part of the day? <laughs> My favorite part was the... <laughs> How fast are you going? <laughs> Not as slower than the cross rocket thing behind me. My favorite part was after driving past that place for so many years, we finally got to see the inside of it. That was my favorite part. Mystery solved. What's your least favorite part? Underneath the bridge. <laughs> oh, yeah.